Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will be discussing about arguments. Generally, an argument means an exchange of opposite views, typically a heated one. But in philosophy, to give an argument is not necessarily to attack or criticize someone. It is to provide a set of premises as reasons for accepting the conclusion. What is an argument? An argument is a series of connected statements intended to establish a proposition. Arguments help us to accept or reject beliefs. They are the bread and butter of what we believe and what we don't believe. Let us take few examples on arguments. All humans are mortal. Nathan is a human. Therefore, Nathan is mortal. In this example, these three statements are connected statements because the conclusion can be derived from the given two premises. Hence, this connection of statements form an argument. Let us take one more example. All mammals are warm-blooded. Whales are mammals, therefore whales are warm-blooded. In this example also, these three statements are connected statements, which means the conclusion can be derived from the given two premises. Hence, this collection of statements can be called as an argument. Let us take one more example. Nathan is Robin's son. Nathan is taller than David. David is taller than John. Therefore, Nathan is taller than John. In this example, only the last three statements are connected statements because only premise 2 and premise 3 lead to the conclusion that Nathan is taller than John. Whereas, premise 1 do not add any contribution to the conclusion. That is why premise 2, premise 3 and the conclusion collectively form an argument. Now let us understand the structure of an argument. Any argument contains two basic parts, premises and conclusion. What is the premise? A premise is a statement that supports an argument's conclusion. Then what is a conclusion? A conclusion is the statement that is inferred from the argument's premises. Let us consider the following argument. All human beings are mortal. All Americans are human beings. Therefore, all Americans are mortal. In this example, Premise 1 and premise 2 lead to the conclusion that all Americans are mortal and the conclusion can be inferred from the given two premises, which means the conclusion is dependent on premise 1 and premise 2. Let us consider one more argument. Mary is Daniel's sister. Daniel is Elizabeth's brother. Therefore, Mary is Elizabeth's sister. In this argument also, premise 1 and premise 2 lead to the conclusion that Mary is Elizabeth's sister, whereas the conclusion is inferred from the given two premises. Hence, the conclusion is dependent on the given two premises. Sometimes, arguments can have only one premise. Arguments with a single premise are called as immediate inferences. Let's take few examples. I think, therefore I am. It is an argument with a single premise. Such arguments are called as immediate inferences. No items on this menu are vegetarian dishes. Therefore, no vegetarian dishes or items on this menu. This is also an argument with a single premise. Such arguments are called as 
immediate inferences. Now let us take a simple quiz on identifying arguments. Why is Simon not coming for jogging these days? Maybe he is not doing well. Is it an argument? No, it is not an argument because it starts with a question and questions do not contain any truth values. Since the rise of COVID-19, cinema industry became dependent on OTT platforms. Is it an argument? No, it is not an argument because we do not find any premises leading to any conclusion. If you want to find a good job, you must do hard work. You do want to find a good job, so you must do hard work. Is it an argument? Yes, it is an argument. The first two statements are premises and the last statement is the conclusion. Now let us go through a summary on arguments. An argument is a series of connected statements intended to establish a proposition. Arguments help us to accept or reject beliefs. They are the bread and butter of what we believe and what we don't believe. 